hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're just joining us for the first time please subscribe now today i'm going to be telling you what you can do as a student in nigeria to make money i'm going to go straight into the point because we understand that the economy is quite hard but then we still have to keep the money coming in now number one is rendering services Okay. Now we understand how sometimes students like to just have things done for them. Okay, and you can leverage on this. You can make money from this and help students wash their clothes, fetch water, run errands for them, and then they pay you money for it. Okay, I know it might sound cheesy, but then people are actually making money from it. Like in the university I went to, Bingham University, I know of a girl who made about a hundred thousand naira in that entire semester from doing this rendering services okay so you can leverage on that just help students do stuff and then you get paid for it and number two is selling now you can literally make money from selling selling anything valuable in school the first thing i did when i went to bingham university in 100 level was to the first business rather not the first thing obviously i went there for schooling but then you have to make money by the side so the first business i did was to sell outfits sell clothes for those of you who do not know Bingham University is an equa university, so they do not allow trousers. You can't wear trousers, just gowns and skirts, right? So obviously that was like raining. I'm talking about for the girls. Now, if you stay in Abuja, the cheapest place for you to get clothes to resell is in Karimo Market. Yes, Karimo. Like you really get very, very affordable items. So I went to Karimo Market, I bought some outfits and i came to school to sell them now the reason why my business didn't prosper this particular business was because i lacked discipline okay now all the clothes that i picked to come and sell were actually very pretty clothes now whenever a customer comes and say oh lucy i want to buy this particular clothes and i'll be like ah, but this clothes is actually fine let me keep it for myself and i'll tell the person it's not for sale <laughs> that's how i crumbled that business but if you have discipline trust me you can make so much money from selling clothes now not just selling clothes you can also sell um lip gloss you can sell cap you can sell anything that you know that students like to wear in your school okay now the next on the list is wigging okay you know how beauty can never go out of style people always is always going to be trending in the next 10 years in the next 20 in the next 50 years beauty is always going to be trending now what i did in 200 level right during our long break i went to learn how to make hair and do makeup okay i chose that instead of tailoring because i actually have a passion for baking and all those things and when i came back to school i actually came back with my mannequin you know mannequin where you put the wig on top and then start wigging i made lots of money from renting out the mannequin to other students that needed to you know style their hair or wig their hair i think then i was renting it out for maybe one five or so it's been a while <laughs> okay and then i also um wig for students okay you can also make hair for students too and then they pay you money you can also bring um you know stretcher all those hair equipment stuff and then render service to females in your hostel and you get paid for it because trust me ladies always want to look good they always want their hair to always look good so you can have customers like almost every single time just be good at what you're doing okay now the next one is drop shipping drop shipping is you literally acting as an agent for a company okay you're literally selling a product on behalf of a company so you can look for any trending products in your school and then find a good supplier once you get customers make the order to the supplier and then the supplier takes it up from there it can be anything you can even drop ship wigs it can literally be any wigs shoes caps anything that you know that is trending in your school you can drop ship you can it's just basically you selling for that supplier and then adding your own money on top that's it that's drop shipping next one is still in the fashion industry it is makeup and nails not every lady knows how to do makeup okay so you can leverage on that you can do makeup for people for maybe their final year week for events for anything fashion week in school now if you're just starting practice 
if you're just learning how to do makeup you can learn online you can learn on youtube it's literally every information is out there so you can if you don't have the money to you know go to an actual makeup studio to learn how to do makeup you can learn on youtube and then you can practice with your friends all right do makeup on their face occasionally and once you're perfect then you make it open to the public you make it open to your you know schoolmates and then you charge them my sister in Bingham University is actually a makeup artist and she makes lots of money from makeup because there's always an event every single time in school, right? So you can do makeup, you can also do nails, you can fix nails. I was also fixing nails in Bingham University. I think then it was about, it was a long, I graduated a few years ago, so then the price then should not be compared to now. But then I think I was, I was painting nails for about 200 Naira, yeah, I think fixing for 500 Naira obviously you no know, now is going to be more expensive and you will always have customers provided you're good at what you do okay so that's makeup now the next on my list is photography this is mainly for the male because i see lots of guys doing it in school i said there's always an event in school almost every single time and people need pictures of it not just pictures on your phone right but then pictures of those moments so you can make lots of money obviously i know that the capital is going to be quite expensive because you need to buy a good camera but trust me the return on investment is a lot especially when you're good at what you do you're good at editing the pictures and all of that so think about photography now the next on the list is graphic design you can be a graphic designer as a student and make your money from it and not just being a graphic designer for students in school but you can also be a graphic designer for brands right for people who have businesses small startup businesses even big businesses depending on how good you are now the next on the list is something that most people do not talk about because it's not so common but guess what people are constantly cashing out from it i'm talking about whatsapp tv yes now you can have lots of contacts on your phone and start a whatsapp tv you know the way you have blogs on instagram you have yaba left you have insta blog etc it's just the same way but then you're having it on whatsapp okay now you have these contacts and then you post things that are funny you know to always keep them entertained and then people reach out to you to run ads if there's anyone for example now i do makeup all right i'm going to create my graphic design flyer like i spoke about and then i'm going to give it to this person to post on his whatsapp status so that he can reach out to lots of people in school and he gets paid for it there's currently someone in bingham university doing this right now i don't know if i'm going to get the exact name but i think it's bhu connect now this guy has lots of contacts in the accounting department he still has time for that that's really amazing and then he charges four thousand naira per post that's actually crazy because if you're charging four thousand naira per post it means that you're going to be making i don't want to give an estimate but you know how much you're getting because there's always 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 something happening in school that needs to be broadcasted and he's the number one person for it and it's a bit easy to start all you need to do is gather lots of contacts so it means that you have to be a social person you have to network with a lot of students in school and then you start posting memes start posting entertaining things before you know it people will start reaching out to you to run ads for them and you can charge them however you like but obviously do not charge them too much <laughs> all right so that's that now the next one is selling snacks edibles people will always eat <laughs> until jesus christ comes food is always going to be in book because i mean it's food you need food to survive you need food to function but now i'm not talking about food like heavy food no i'm talking about snacks like plantain chips potato chips puff puff you know just things that people can just easily put in their mouth in class or like you know in the hostel sell it start from somewhere i know someone that orders plantain chips in bulk from outside they bring it to the school and then she sells it in less than one week because it's plantain chips people love plantain i love plantain chips i think most people love plantain chips just look for something that is very very common in your school that people would love to buy and sell and you can make good money from it snacks is not the only thing that you can sell to make money too in terms of you know things that are edible you can also sell pure water yes now most of you might not know this you might be shocked <laughs> but then i think in my 300 level 
I sold pure time. Now, let me tell you all the things I sold in school. <laughs> now, I started selling clothes, right? I sold pure water. I sold Fusca paper for people writing tests in class. I sold um, nail products, you know, like the polish and everything. And then I did makeup. I did wigging. And what else? Okay, I think that was it. So I was like <laughs> a business person in school. And before you say that, oh, but that will make you not study in school and all of that. I studied accounting. I didn't really like it. But then I wanted to make my people proud. So even with the business and everything, I still graduated with 2-1. A strong 2-1. 4.28 or so. I can't remember. So it just depends on you, really, if you put your mind to it. But obviously, you know when it's time to really study, like when it's time for exams, you have to stop selling and focus on your studies. Okay? So you selling in school is not going to do anything to your studies as far as you know what you're doing you know how to share your time properly now like i said you can make money from selling pure water i don't know how your school is i don't know if water is free but in my school in the school i went to Bingham university water wasn't free you had to buy pure water the bus will come to the hostel the bus of you know pure water they will come to the hostel to supply it to the talk shop all right but then a few students will also buy and then take to their room to sell the distance from hostel to the talk shop is a bit far depending on where your hostel is so instead of you walking all the way to talk shop you rather just go to someone's hostel to buy pure water so i was selling pure water then like i said you know how it's, it's crazy right now in nigeria where everything is so expensive then i was selling pure water a bag was 100 naira right and then by the time i'm done selling one bag i make a profit of 100 naira on it by the time you sell five bags in a day, you're making about 500 naira. Multiply it in a week, in a month, you know you're making some cool cash. Now, we made more money when we didn't have water in school. You know, there were, there were a few times when they took the water because they were working on the pumps or whatever. Now, that period, obviously, students will also need to take their bath because they need to go to classes. So, they come to us to buy pure water. Now, instead of selling that pure water for 200 naira at the normal price, we sell it for 300 naira. Because it's such, right? So we actually made more money from that during that period. It's see, as far as you want to make money, you have to put your pride aside and do anything that is going to bring in money as far as it's legal, right? And as far as you're comfortable doing it. So it's so pure water. You can also sell pure water depending on your school. Next on the list, like I said, I also sold full scar paper. Now, you know how lecturers always like to do this thing, they just they just always like to give impromptu tests, right? It happened every single time in Bingham University. So I always brought my, you know that, I don't know the name of the book, but that long book where you have your first card paper, the long book, that's what we used to write tests then. I don't know about now. So I always took that book to every single class. Now, whenever a lecturer says, it's time for tests, bring out your paper. Everybody's like, Lucy, please, I want to buy paper, I want to buy paper. I was actually telling you, I think what, I can't remember the amount honestly maybe 10 naira or 20 naira don't look at it as maybe you make your first 500 naira you're like oh, it's too small keep going keep going and just accumulate the money by the end of the week or by the end of the month you're going to see that it's like compound interest you're going to see that the money that you're making is actually tangible and can do something for you micro blading is like the in thing right now for girls <laughs> it's crazy but then most girls just want to look good and there's nothing wrong in that so you can leverage your needs and you can do micro blading for students but obviously you have to learn it so you don't go and do rubbish on somebody's brows please a student is currently doing micro blading and she charges twenty thousand naira per person that's cool money for goodness sake by the time you're done with five people that's a hundred thousand naira someone is also fixing lashes you can fix lashes and then get your money from it next on the list is perfume like i said there are there are some products that are evergreen they will always always be in vogue every single time perfume is one of them because you always want to smell good all right so you can start with selling oil perfume okay because it's actually affordable to an extent this is an oil perfume all right so this is how the bottle is there are some bottles that are smaller than this okay so you sell this i don't know the current price right now but I know that it's 
maybe less than 1000 naira or maybe 1200 i don't know but within that range and if you're buying in bulk they're also going to give you discount so you can start with this and then whatever proceed you make from it you can use it to buy the bigger perfumes once in a while run ads so that you can reach a large audience and that's how you just keep building your business always something that you just have to look around for problems and then create solutions for yourself and get paid for the solution in summary all right just take your time to search for a problem in your school and come up with the solution solution means money take your time look around your school check your environment what's missing what is the thing that students need the most that you know that you can provide as a student too and leverage from it all these things i mentioned are solutions to problems in schools and people are making money from it when you talk about solution you talk about money people will pay for solutions i was doing it because i didn't want to always call my people every time to ask for money for this money for that i wanted to be independent i wanted to finance most of all this you know how it's actually very hard for students there are lots of bills popping up for students every single time and i think that is a bit unfair to always call whoever is paying your school fees or whatever for money you can actually fund or take care of all these little bills by yourself and how can you do that by doing a business that generates money for you now with these few points of mine i hope i have put ideas in your head for you to start making money in your school please do not forget to like this video leave a comment if you also know about any other thing that i didn't mention that students can do you can also leave it in the comment section and like this video like i said subscribe if you haven't on this channel we deal with lifestyle vlogs and general tips now until next time thank you and bye